This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Goldfish Gladiators. So last week, we are heading to Magic Arena to play a deck that I think is actually super, super fun. This is Punish or Burn, and a little extra about this deck. So initially, I was planning on using this deck as a budget magic deck. I actually recorded this video as a budget magic Magic. Then we made the decision that we are going to do Budget Magic on Magic Online. So if you hear me say Budget Magic throughout the video, I mean, it is a budget deck. It's 100 bucks of paper, 24 ticks on Magic Online. But it's going to be under the Goldfish Gladiator heading because we're going back to Moto for Budget Magics based on all of your feedback. Also worth mentioning, the deck is pretty budget friendly on Arena. The main deck has 8 non-land rares and 4 land rares and no mythics. So you're at like 12 rare wild cards for the main deck. There's a few extras in the sideboard. You don't really have to play the Angrass in the sideboard. Those are the three mythics. Couple of ritual assets. But the deck is pretty budget friendly on Arena as well. But regardless, it's a Goldfish Gladiators and I'm excited for this deck because it is one of the weirdest looking decks on paper. Built around the Punisher cards. Risk Factor, Swordpoint, Diplomacy. Those are kind of the key cards of the deck to deal tons of damage, draw us tons of cards. The rest of the deck is straight up burned to the point where we're playing Sovereign's Bite as our standard legal Lava Axe, and just all these weird spells. So I'm excited to show this deck off. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Punisher Burn for Standard. If you enjoy this deck, and you enjoy Goldfish Gladiators in general, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Punisher Burn for Standard, starting with Risk Factor. So if you've been following the various videos on the series, We've kind of had this weird relationship with Risk Factor. At first, we just dismissed it. Then we were like, maybe this can work in certain decks. Then we played the Wizard deck, and it wasn't very good, but the Wizard deck wasn't very good. Well, this deck might finally be the deck that makes Risk Factor work, and it might be the problem with Risk Factor wasn't so much that Risk Factor was a Punisher card, but that we weren't playing enough Punisher cards. This deck is built around the foundation of Risk Factor and also Swordpoint Diplomacy, kind of the original bad Risk Factor. So these are cards that give our opponent a choice. When we cast Risk Factor, our opponent chooses to take four damage or we draw three cards. When we cast Swordpoint Diplomacy, it's a little more complicated. Basically, we reveal three cards. For each of those cards, our opponent gets to choose either put it in our hand or take three damage. So it can't be nine damage for three mana. It can be three cards for three mana, or more often it's like a weird mixture. Opponent takes three, we draw a couple lands, etc, etc. But these cards give us endless fuel as the game goes along by just drawing us tons of card, or they deal a ton of damage to our opponent's face. Like in the early game, when our opponent's life total is still relatively high, we can risk factor, hit our opponent for four, and then we can jumpstart risk factor, hit our opponent for four more, which is a ton of damage for one card in six mana. So that that is kind of the core of the deck pressuring our opponent like crazy to make our risk factors and sword point diplomacies our punisher burn cards good so to pressure our opponent we start off with our one drops fanatical firebrand just a two of get you lava runner is a four of in part because it's good in part because we want to be able to play wizards lightning as a lightning bolt but these cards come down on turn one start pressuring our opponent sometimes even with haste and then in the two drop slot this is where the deck gets really fun one of the key cards of this deck is electrostatic field which is kind of a weird looking card but it's actually incredibly powerful in this deck. So for two mana, you get a 0-4, which means it blocks everything against other red decks, other aggressive decks. It's just such a good blocker. And against control decks, opponents don't really want to kill it because they can't attack them. But as it sits out on the battlefield, every time we're casting a burn spell, we're adding a damage to it. So over the course of the game, Electrostatic Field often deals four damage, five damage, just huge chunks of damage. All of a sudden, our lightning strikes are hitting our opponent for four, our sovereign bite for four, our wrist fast. For five, it's huge, huge, huge increase of damage while also blocking our opponent's early game threats. And then we have Vashino Pyromancer, which is just kind of a burn spell that comes on a body. It's a guaranteed two damage when it enters the battlefield. If we happen to get in an attack or two with it, it can be four damage or six damage, which is a pretty good deal for a two drop. And that's kind of the main plan of the deck. When you play this deck, think of it like a true burn deck. We're not looking in most games to kill our opponent's creatures, to control the board. We're looking to 
to throw burn spells at our opponent's face and make every decision based on how can we get as much damage through to our opponent's face so we can eventually close out the game with our Punisher cards, with our burn spells, with our electrostatic field. As far as the burn itself, Shock, Lightning Strike, Wizard Lightning, all four ofs, all representing damage we can throw at our opponent's face, getting better with our electrostatic field, pumping our get to Lava Runner, just the best burn spells in standard. And then we have Sovereign's Bite. One of the upsides of going into black for sword point diplomacy is we get basically a lava axe it's twice as much mana as a lava axe but we're playing standard so you can get away with it and the ability to not only make our opponent lose three life but also gain three life can be really helpful in aggro mirrors combine this with electrostatic field as a blocker and this deck just absolutely crushes the other red aggro decks we have a blocker that they have a hard time getting through and then we have incidental life gain attached to a burn spell in our main deck so it's very very strong surprisingly strong it looks like it should be horrible looks like it should be unplayable but this is actually one of the better cards in our deck especially against other aggressive decks Otherwise, Lava Coil just gives us a way to kill slightly bigger creatures, get rid of like Rekindling Phoenixes, get rid of Wild Growth Walkers as they grow. It can't go to the face, which is annoying, but it is a nice removal spell to have access to. Mana base wise, a little clunky. We don't have a Red Black Shockland yet. We're waiting for the winner set, so we have to get by with four Dragon Skull Summits and four Cinder Barons, combined with a bunch of basic lands, 20 lands in all. So the mana base, I really hate the Cinder Barons. Having a tap land in this deck is very annoying but there's just nothing we can do right now. In a few months, we'll be able to just trade it out with Blood Crypt, and life will be super, super good, and the deck will be even better. But the mana base is functional enough right now, even with Cinder Barons, kind of slowing us down a little bit. As far as the sideboard, Fiery Cannonade Ritual of Soot gives us sweepers to fight against tokens and other aggro decks. Lava Coil Fight with Fire lets us customize our removal. If we're expecting Rekindling Phoenixes and Arclight Phoenixes and other bigger creatures, we can bring in Lava Coil, Fight with Fire, key for killing like Lyra's and really as other five toughness creatures and then for control we have banefire and angrath to flame chain so banefire an uncounterable burden spell for the late game a lot of times against control we get our opponent very low on life in the early game then they stabilize at two life at three life at four life and have all these counters to keep disrupting us but if we can just make our land drops and find our banefire that's our way we can force through those last few points of damage and close out the game and then angrath is sort of the weird reverse chandra we mostly just play it and plus it and plus it and instead of us drawing a card and dealing two to our opponent we are making our opponent lose two life and making them discard a card so that's how i think of it basically like chandra was except in reverse forcing our opponent's hand making sure they can't just sit back and hold counters while dealing some damage along the way and if we ever do ultimate it it should be able to just close out the game and that is punisher bird for standard and that's our goldfish gladiator deck for this week so i'm really excited for this deck i think this deck it looks looks janky. We're playing so many weird, bad Punisher cards. So we're playing Diplomacies and Riz Factors. We have Sovereign's Bite, which who would have thought that was playable? Electrostatic Field. So there's a lot of jank going on, but I think this deck is actually pretty powerful and pretty good. And like I said, budget-friendly in paper and on Magic Online, and discounting the sideboard, pretty budget-friendly on Arena as well. So anyway, that's our Goldfish Gladiator deck for this week. Let's go punish and burn some opponents. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and i'll be back in a bit with the wrap up all right we are playing some punisher burn and standard and uh yeah well uh we'll see how it goes all the punisher cards all the time also electrostatic field kind of spicy all right what are we up against all right one land is not great hopefully we draw land number two so, Mountain and Fanatical Firebrand. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Get to Lava Runner. Well, there's a land. So, play the Mountain. Play Lava Runner. Shock Lava Runner. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Dot 18. Mountain for our opponent. And passes. I'll play the mountain. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just risk factor. See what our opponent does. Also pumps our lava runner. All right, opponent shocks lava runner. Sure. Takes the damage. Well, we will go attacking. Hit our opponent. Down to 13. Land for our opponent. And Legion Warboss. Gonna start making some tokens. Gets it. 
Well, play Pyromancer. Opponent down to 11. Yeah, and then I guess we Wizards Lightning the War Boss. And go attacking. Opponent down to 10. Pass the turn. Oh, this is going to be close. Mountain for our opponent. Ugh. All the three drops. Chain Whirler. Now, that's a good one for our opponent. Gets in for one. Well, Riz Factor. Opponent takes it to six. Oh, man. We're a burn spell away, boys and girls. We got the strike in hand. Opponent gets in. Hits us. Yup. Down to 13. Pyromancer. Down to 11. Passes. Ugh. Three, four, five, six. Well, risk factor. Discard sword point diplomacy, which we can't cast. Opponent lets us. Oh no. Oh no. There's all of our lands. Wizard's lightning. Eight. Wow! The luckiest runner! Oh, the luck! The luck! The luck of Mono Red! Oh, man. Wow. Well, I mean, sometimes people run good. And you can't really do much about people running good, unfortunately. Sometimes. Sometimes they run good. Uh, alright. Go down the Fanatical Firebrands. Go up a couple of cannonades. And I guess we just run it like that. Wow! Boy, that was brutal. We were a bird spell away from winning. Ugh, our risk factor drew us three lands. And then our opponent top decked exactly what they needed to win the game. Boy. I mean, I guess in defense of our opponent, they had several cards that would win the game. They needed two damage that turn. Ugh. Ooh, that was brutal. That was brutal, that was brutal. Well, I mean... Good on you, opponent. All right. We're on the play. We will keep. We got the all burn spell hand. Mountain, go. I guess we do need one more land at some point for these three mana plays. Lava Runner for our opponent. Well, let's shock it. Untap. Well, there's our land. Play Dragon Skull Summit. Play Pyromancer. Opponent down 18. Pass the turn. Opponent. Well, we're going to get Punishy. Lava Runner. And. Passes. Well, play a Swamp. Go attacking. Opponent takes it. Well, pass the turn. Leave up our Risk Factor. Opponent untaps. Mountain. Yeah, there's a Chain Whirler. Well, let's Risk Factor. Opponent takes it to 12. Kills our Pyromancer. Gets in for one. Hmm. Yeah, let's Sword Point Diplomacy. Two lands and a Lightning Strike. Land in hand. Lightning Strike in hand. Alright, Opponent just gives, them, gives us them all. Well, play Dragon Skull Summit play Lava Runner. No attacks. Land for our opponent. I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Shiv and Fire. Alright, takes down our our creature. Shocks our face. Down to 16. Goes attacking. Down to 11. Well, play the Mountain. Lava Coil Chain Whirler. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Gets it. Yup. We'll take it. Down to nine. Uh, risk factor. Opponent. Takes it to eight. Passes. Oh, we have we have lethal, don't we? Sovereign's bite our opponent. This is exactly lethal. Punisher bird. Down to eight. We gain some life. Uh, lightning strike, our opponent, down to two. Man, we're going to 20 our opponent with uh, with two risk factors left over in the graveyard. Whoo! 
Oh, Punisher Bird! Punisher Bird! That went much better. That was pretty good for Punisher Bird. So punishing. Um, yeah, run it back. Let's punish. Ugh. Hmm. All right, I guess we keep. One Cinder Barons is not great. Mountain. Fanatical Firebrand. Bone it. Gets in for one. We wouldn't mind just drawing like a mountain. <laughs> Dragon Skull Summit. Cinder Barons go. Well, we're doing it the hard way. Pwn it, Mountain. Gets in for one. And a runaway Steamkin. Well, shock the Steamkin. Play Dragon Skull Summit. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Gets in for one. Yup. Passes. Hmm. And let's just Electrostatic Field. Seems like a pretty good blocker against the red deck. Opponent. Mountain. Are we just going to outburn the red deck? Oh, Electrostatic Field is sweet, and so is Sovereign Bite. Lava Coil. Well, Sovereign's Bite, our opponent. Four damage, game three, back up to 20. Oh, man. Maybe we just got the secret formula for, for beating up on these red decks. Wizard's Lightning. Whoa! Whoa! Two for one! Two for one! Uh-huh. Yup. Yup, yup. Sure. Mountain for our opponent passes. Well, play Lava Runner. Play Lava Runner. Oh, boy. Opponent's fighting the... The losing battle. Oh. Oh. All of their cards going at our random dorks. Opponent plays a mountain passes. I'll play Pyromancer. And gaining this random life with Sovereign's Bite. Wow. Wow. Opponent's playing the control role, but we got the cards and the card draw. Opponent passes. And well, let's Sword Point Diplomacy. Ooh. Ooh, that's a that's not bad. Takes some damage. Gives us a land. Gives us electrostatic field. Alright. Well, play the land. Pass the turn. Electrostatic field also turns lava coils into damage eventually. Ooh. Play electrostatic field. Play electrostatic field. Play a swamp. And I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. Opponent. Passes. Well, that's Sovereign's Bite. For five. Thanks to electrostatic fields. Uh-huh. Oh, man. We're going to end our game against the red deck at over 20 life. Punisher burn. Opponent takes it. Yeah, 10. 9. Takes three more. We go up to 23. Opponent goes to 6. Well, pass the turn. Shock's electrostatic field. Wow, is this double shock? Well, lightning strike our opponent's face. Down to 1. Yup. And, uh, I guess our opponent hopes we just draw lands the rest of the game. Mountain. Well, just how we drew it up. <laughs> Lava Coil, our own electrostatic field. Game! Punisher Burn crushing the red deck. Crushing it. Oh, man. I was a little disappointed in game one where, uh, uh, where it felt like we were so close to winning, but our deck proved the match for the red deck in games two and three, where we just dominated, dominating performance. Sweet. All right. <laughs> On to round two. Punishing and burning. Punishing and burning. <laughs> in standard. Ah, uh, this deck. <laughs> uh, it's good against red, apparently. All right. What do you got, opponent? Rather obnoxious. Oh, my God. That probably means emo spamming. Good game. Good game. Good game. Uh, sure. That's fine. We don't have any Punisher cards, unfortunately, but it's a reasonable hand. Let's just Mountain and Lava Runner. Hopefully, our opponent's playing Mono Blue Tempo and not Control. Ugh, it's Control. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. Um, go to combat, attack, hit our opponent. Opponent seal away is our lava runner. Yup. All right. 
Well, play Drake. Play Dragon Skull Summit. Play. Play Pyromancer. Pawn it down to 18. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent passes. Well, play the mountain. Go attacking. Uh, let's Sovereign's Bite our opponent. Lava Coil is probably dead. Opponent negates. Yup. Well, we're going to have to draw and resolve Punisher cards. Opponent. Land tapped. More lands. Well, go attacking. Hit our opponent. Play a swamp. Pass the turn. Tap land. Opponent passes. I'll play the mountain. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. <laughs> Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. We have seven points of burn in hand. All right, well, wizards lightning our opponent. Down to nine. Come on, Punisher card. That's what we need here. We need a Punisher card. We need a Punisher card. Oh, come on. Come on, deck. Well, sword point diplomacy counts. Ugh. Land, land, lightning strike. We're definitely getting the two useless lands. Ooh, Punisher's going to give us all the cards. All right, well, lightning strike face. Play Dragon Skull Summit. Um, shock our opponent's face. Pass the turn. All right, we got to get in <laughs> four points of damage. Opponent passes. Lightning strike. Well, play the mountain. Pass the turn. If our opponent ever taps out, we got him. Ever. Opponent untaps. Come on. Play that to fairy. Opponent passes. Uh, swamp. All right. Pass the turn. <laughs> Untaps. Land. Opponent passes. Well. Play electrostatic field. Sabotage. Leaves it on top. Well. Pass the turn. We gotta be patient or draw more burn. Riz Factor would be nice. Land. Play the land. Well, we should stop drawing lands. That's good news. Pass the turn. Uh, tap out. Crack your memorial. Or just give us a Riz Factor. Riz Factor would be so helpful. Opponent passes. Good God. More lands. We're going to break a record. Pass the turn. Opponent draws. Passes. Play Cinder Barons. Pass the turn. Chemister's Insight. Still leaving up counter mana. Draws a couple cards. Untaps. Field of Ruin. Opponent. Teferi. Okay. I know my responsibility. Untaps. Draws. We really just need to draw a burn spell. At this point, basically any burn spell. Opponent untaps two lands. If we draw any bird spell, we should be able to force through four points of damage here. Untap. Ooh, that is a good burn spell. So let's... Let's risk factor our opponent. Opponent's thinking. 
I think we're in pretty good shape. I think we're in pretty good shape. Punishing. Punisher's coming through. Phone end. <laughs> really thinking. Burning through timeouts. Sinister sabotage. Okay. So now we shock our opponent. Down to two. Sovereigns bite our opponent. Syncopate. Well, we will pay one. Oh, and we got there. We got there. We punished the control deck. That was pretty good. That was pretty impressive of our deck. I gotta say, we just overloaded and got enough burn spells that eventually our opponent could not keep up. Could not keep up with all the burn. The question is going to be, how do we sideboard? Cards of interest are Banefire and Angrafts. What can we cut? Let's go down like two shocks, two fanatical firebrands. Go up two bane fires and two angrass. Also, lava coil feels bad. Maybe we can keep. Hmm. Can we go up another Angrath? Maybe we go Shock Angrath. Yeah, try it like that. All right, Punisher Burn. I mean, if we can beat the Red Decks and we can beat the Control Decks, that's pretty sweet. Hmm. Only one land, but we got to keep. We got two Lava Runners. Island for our opponent. Not a land. We'll play the mountain, play a Lava Runner. Pass the turn. We would like to draw lands. That would make us happy. Playing for our opponent. There's a mountain. We'll play the mountain. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Play a Lava Runner. All right. Essence Scatter. Yeah, that's fine. Can't actually do anything about that. Pass the turn. Trying to play around to syncopate, but opponent passing. Well, shock our opponent's face. Untap. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent down to 16. Play the land. Play electrostatic field. And then in Punisher cards we trust. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, well, we will float a mana. Grab a swamp. And now, while our opponent's tapped out, we will Sovereign's Bite for four, thanks to Electrostatic Field. Opponent's down to 12. We grew our Lava Runner. All right, opponent. Field of Ruin. History of Benalia. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Um, well, let's start with Sword Point Diplomacy. Hit our opponent to 11. Jeez, three lands. Well, I'm assuming we're getting three lands. Land, land, land. Opponent living up to their obnoxious nickname with the little uh, little meme there. Opponent blocks. Play a Cinder Barons. Pass the turn. Yeah, that was not good. That was not good. Three lands is not what we were hoping for. Opponent runs out there to Fairy. Ugh. Wow. Bounces our electrostatic field. We draw more lands. Well, sword point diplomacy. Land, electrostatic field, Angrath. Opponent gives us all the cards. Well, Dragon Skull Summit, electrostatic field. Pass the turn. History of Benalia pumps a knight, gets in. Opponent also has their card advantage engine going. And they know about our Angrath. Draws a card. Land. Gets in. 
No blocks. Down to 19. Field of Ruin. Sure. I mean, we don't mind thinning our deck. Uh, grab a mountain. Untaps a couple lands. I'll play Dragon Skull Summit. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Draws with Teferi. Keep up the pace. Tap land. <laughs> okay, we will block your 2-2. Two -two. Alright, let's risk factor our opponent. Negates. Well, opponent down to 10. Risk factor our opponent. Discard a swamp. Down to 9. Oh, are they out of counters? Oh, boy. Down to 5. Oh, life is pretty good now. Untap. Um. One. All right. Risk factor our opponent. Down to four. We draw. Um. Now what? Play a mountain. I mean, I guess we just go for it. Uh. Wizards lightning you? For four? Electrostatic field? Punisher burn? And that's all our opponent's got! Taking down the aggro decks, taking down the control decks, and maybe Punisher Bird is just, like, a real thing. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, this deck! It looks so janky! Oh, we get a, we get a pack to open. Let's take a peek. Where's our vault? 197.2. Alright. Give us some love, Guilds of Ravnica pack. Eh, alright, troll. 198.3. All right, well, let's keep the fun going. That was that was pretty good. Maybe this deck is just legit. Watch us get five wins with Punisher Burn. <laughs> uh, we've played two very real decks, too. Teferi Control and Mono Red Aggro, those are two legit decks in standard, and we are just cruising. Wow, it would be so funny if after... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to keep... It would be so funny if after all of my making fun of Punisher cards, Punisher Burn is just, like, the best deck. Lava Runner. Ugh, no land. All right, Summit go. We are going to need to draw a land number two. Opponent. Mountain. Pyromancer. Hits us. Yep. Come on, land. Land. Ugh. I'll play Lava Runner. We might get punished for a greedy keep here. Mountain. Man, if we draw a land this turn, we should just win. Opponent attacks. We will trade with Pyromancer. Down to 13. Land. All right, there's a land. Play the mountain. Play Electrostatic Field. We're still at a pretty high life total. We're still at 13. We got a blocker. Mountain for our opponent. Chain Whirler. Yup, down to 12. Ooh, and another land. Well, let's Lava Coil Chain Whirler. Ping our opponent. Down to 19. Play the mountain. Pass the turn. Risk factor. Um, yeah. All right, down to eight. And a mountain. Opponent's out of cards. Well, risk factor our opponent. Down to 14. Yup. Opponent. Probably should have held the land for discarding. Um, uh, four. All right, we'll go to four. There's not many four damage burn spells. Ooh, and Sovereign's Bite. Well, let's risk factor. Opponent down to nine. Okay. What's our opponent find? Mountain. Land? Sovereign. Well, all right. Let's just Sovereign's Bite. Gain a bit of life. Man, Sovereign's Bite is so good in this matchup. Up to seven. Opponent down to five. Lava Runner. Yeah, that's fine. Passes. Well, let's risk factor. Discard Lava Coil. Opponent's got to let us draw, or they lose. Play a mountain. Pass the turd. And yeah, we got this one locked up. We can leave up shock. And then we just lightning strike. Fanatical firebrand, sure. Opponent, going to go attacking. We are going to block. Drop to six. Shock our opponent's face to one. Untap. And, yeah, we can kill our opponent in any number of ways. Pyromancer does it, though. Pyromancer. 
And, uh, yeah? <laughs> Sovereign's Bite's like a cheat code against this deck. It's so good! It's so good against the opposing red decks. It's hilarious. <laughs> Having a, a Lava Spike that gains us three life just swings this matchup in our favor so hard. Uh, Alright, so since we're playing against a... Hmm... Goblin Chain Whirler deck. I think we're going to go down Firebrands and go up Fiery Cannonades. And that makes our deck a lot better against opposing. We saw a Pyromancer. At least it's two damage right away. Lava Coil. Is there anything we got a Lava Coil from this deck? Like, is it just unnecessary to Lava Coil? Angra's probably slow. I guess we could keep Firebrand. We could go more Cannonades. Hmm. Hmm, 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 I mean, I guess Lava Coil, it does go, f it does kill things, which is nice. And hopefully we just, like, outdraw our opponent. Yeah, let's, let's keep it. Let's just go like that. They could bring in Rekindling Phoenix or something. Oh, man, this deck actually feels oddly good. <laughs> Ooh, all right, show us our hand. Ugh. We are on the draw. It worked out last time. You know what? We're going to keep this. We got a Lava Runner, which turns on Wizard's Lightning, and we're one land away from Electrostatic Field. We have the Sovereign's Bite. I mean, it's greedy, but we are only, we only have 20 lands in the deck, so one-landers are going to happen. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. Mountain for our opponent. Ooh, it's a Swamp. That is the ideal draw. Mountain, Lava Runner. Now I feel very good about where we're at. Opponent. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Electrus Man, this deck is very well set up to play the mirror. Steamkin for our opponent. Hmm. Uh, do we just have to kill that? We might. I'm not happy about it, but play Dragon Skull Summit. Lightning Strike Steamkin. Go attacking. It would be nice to get down our electrostatic field first, but that can grow out of range pretty quickly. Pyromancer. Fine. Yep. Electrostatic field is like a cheat code in this matchup. It blocks all their stuff, and it just adds damage to our burn spells. It's so good. Yeah, down to 18. Opponent passes. Well, play a swamp. Play electrostatic field. And then, yeah, we'll pass the turn. What do you got, opponent? Mountain. Ooh, Experimental Frenzy. That is annoying. Well, Wizards Lightning, our opponent's face. Down to 15. Sword Point Diplomacy. Down to 14. Ooh, boy. Three action cards. Choose wisely, opponent. Gives us Pyromancer. Takes damage. Gives us Cannonade. Well, go attacking. Opponent blocks. Yup. Now we would like to just draw land so we can cast two spells. Ugh, Diamond Mare, really? That's annoying. Now we gotta kill Diamond Mare. Opponent gains a life. Boo! Opponent hits us. Well, Lightning Strike Diamond Mare. Opponent to 11. Play Lava Runner. Go attacking. Opponent blocks. Untaps. No more Diamond Mares. Ooh, Lava Coil? Okay. That's a good draw. Hmm. Well, let's just risk factor. Wow, opponent takes it to seven. We are so close to winning this game. Opponent, passing. Play the mountain. Play Pyromancer. Opponent to five. Play Sovereign's Bite. Oh, it's so good. I can't believe I'm saying that about Sovereign's Bite, but it's so good. Opponent to two. Pass the turn. Gives up on the... Fr I mean, we have lethal in hand. We got a lightning strike. You better hope you drew some diamond mares. Shane Whirler. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Fair. Uh, and then we will... 
Wizards lightning your face for lethal? Wow, that matchup does not even feel a little close. Boy, this deck is killing it. It's killing it. <laughs> oh, who would have thought Punisher cards were the secret to success in Guild of Ravnica standard? Who would have guessed? <laughs> not me. I've been making fun of them since they came out. All right, uh, sweet. All right, let's keep it going. See if we can <laughs> oh, keep punishing our opponents. All the way to five wins. Punish your burn. The deck has been surprisingly effective. I don't really understand. <laughs> uh, it looks so janky and plays so many cards that seem not good, but then they work, so. All right, here we go. Zybinator, all right, and we're off. Let's see what this hand looks like. We are on the play, two lands. Yeah, all right, sure. I mean, we got our clunky tap mana, but that's fine. Yeah, I mean, we got burn. We got a Punisher card. Cinder Baron's you. Deck should get even better once we get the winner set and have better mana for the deck and probably more Rakdos cards. Like we could even just get more burn cards. Uh, play a mountain and let's just pie Romancer. Opponent, down to 18. So opponent could be playing, is it control? Jeskai control. All right, search for Escanta. I'll play a Swamp, play a Pyromancer. Opponent, down to 16. Go attacking. Down to 14, shock our opponent. Down to 12, Iskanta, doing its thing. I mean, maybe we can just close this out before our opponent gets a chance to recover. I, that's the hope, that's the hope. Land for our opponent, passes. I'll go to combat, attack. Opponent, lightning strike. Hmm, okay. Drops to 10. And yeah, let's just risk factor while our opponent's tapped down. Opponent takes it to six, okay. Uh, That means we have lethal damage in hand if we can find a window to resolve it. Opponent, mills a search, untaps. Oh, the Punisher cards are so good. And scoops it up, it scoops it up. Cannot keep up with the punishment. <laughs> uh, all right, control. Against control, the plan is go up Angras, go up Bane Fires, go down Lava Coils, go down Shocks, I think? Shocks or Firebrand? Hmm. And let's go down two Firebrands and one Shock. Yeah. Maybe we keep Firebrand. It is repeatable. On turn one against control, it probably adds up to more damage than shock. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep let's keep the firebrands. We basically just want the most damage possible. Yeah, run it like that. See if we can keep the punishment going. I am literally stunned by how effective this deck is. When you see sword point diplomacy and sovereign bite and cinder barons. <laughs> It doesn't scream, oh, it's going to be good, but it really works. All right, opponent's going to be on the play, which is good, but we only got to win one of these two. Stealing the first game, pretty helpful. Let's see what our hand looks like. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to keep it. A little land heavy, but we have hasty damage to get things started. So I guess it's fine. Tap land for our opponent. We'll play the mountain. Fanatical firebrand. Go attacking. Pass the turn. We would like to draw into our Punisher cards. Those are our best draws. Opponent. Tap land. Ugh, more lands. We'll play the mountain. Go to combat. Hit our opponent. Play lava runner. Pass the turn. All right, come on. Let's draw a risk factor. Or at least no more lands. Glacial Fortress. Opponent passes. Lightning Strike. Well, play the Swamp. Go attacking. There's a Lightning Strike. Well, let's Wizard's Lightning while it's cheap. Opponent down to 15. Yeah, Lava Runner down. Opponent down to 14. Pass the turn. Ooh, opponent missing their land drop. All right, passes. Hmm. Well, play Lava Runner. Opponent's got the counter. Well, Lightning Strike our opponent's face. Down to 11. 
opponent down to 10. Play the land. All right, we'll see. We're running out of action. Opponent finds a land. Rekindling Phoenix. Well, sword point diplomacy is not bad. Oh my goodness. Oh, the worst. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness, our Punisher cards just punished us. Oh, we already had a land heavy hand and Swordpoint gives us three lands. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, well. Live by the punishment, die by the punishment, I guess. Play the land. Yeah, opponents tapped out. Lightning strike their face. Well, we got three lands out of the way. Let's try to take the, the glass half full look. And our opponent's down to seven. But they're also two to fairy mana. We really want card number 45 to be a copy of Risk Factor. That's the draw that we want. Justice Strike. Well, ping our opponent. Down to six. Gets it. Yup. Risk Factor. Oh my god, that is Risk Factor. All right, play Dragon Skull Summit. That's fortunate. Risk Factor, our opponent. Have mana for Syncopate. Opponent lets us draw. Hmm. Okay. Pass the turn. Oh man, now I think we might win. That was exactly the draw we wanted. Opponent's down to two cards. Wow. Um. Rail. Well, let's risk factor. Discard a swamp. Draw three. I'm sure. Up to seven cards in hand. Yup. Pony gets a row. Takes up. I think we got it, though. I think we got it. Oh man, we whiffed so hard off the sword point diplomacy, but punishment came through. So play a mountain. Play Vashino Pyromancer. An opponent! They've had enough! They can't stop the punishment! <laughs> Even when we hardcore whiff with our key punisher card, we're still good! We're still good! We get another pack for our troubles as well. Well, let's crack it, crack it, and then go for win number five. Man, this deck has just been crushing. Ooh, Loxodon, that's a playable card. Tokens. All right, well, let's see if we can finish this off with the 5-0 sweep with the budget Punisher burn. <laughs> oh, Browbeat Drival. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know why. Ooh, are we full? Do we have full vault? Oh, so close. All right, let's see if we can close it off. Beat and control, beat and aggro. I wouldn't mind playing like Golgari or something. So far we've played blue white control, Jeskai control, mono red, mono red. I'd like to get a, a different matchup. Well, here we go. On to round five, looking for the perfect 5-0 budget sweep. Opponents on the play, and eh, we'll keep it. We got Punisher cards, we got some Pyromancers. What's our opponent doing? Red again. I might have to try to record. Uh, I might have to try to record a couple more matches just so we have some some other matchups, even if we win. I think we are heavily favored in this matchup. We'll see how this hand works out. Opponent gets in. Steamy. Steamy the... Ooh. Hmm. Well, let's take the easy way out. Fanatical Firebrand. Kill Steamkin. Play a mountain. We would like to just draw land. If we draw a land so we can Pyromancer and Wizard's Lightning, that would be ideal. Mountain for our opponent. Gets it. Yup. Passes. Now uh, play Pyromancer. Opponent down to 18. Not a land. Opponent. Yeah. Chain Whirler. Are we getting whirled? Okay, gonna just firebrand our pyromancer. There's the frenzy. Well, we'll see. Uh, not a land. I'll pay pyromancer. We're having a little trouble just being short on lands, and our opponent's gonna get to start playing multiple cards. Opponent down to 16. What do they got from the frenzy? Land. Lava runner. 
Two cards. Lightning Strike. Three cards. Oh my god, another Lava Runner. Well, that was that was good running. Good Lava Running. Um, how do we want to do this? Play Lava Runner. Hmm. Well, I guess we just pass. Do we want to attack? Yeah, I think we just got to pass. Pass the turn. Opponent. How many cards did I get this turn? Mountain. Rekindling Phoenix. Alright, two. Good god. Well, kill a lava runner. Now this is looking a little bad. Our opponents run very well with their frenzies. Very, very well. Gets in. Hits us. Well, we draw Dragon Skull Summit. So we get to Lava Coil Phoenix. Sovereign's Bite. Opponent down to 13. Pass the turn. Come on. Let's have a, a bad frenzy for once. One card. Shock. Two cards. Chain Whirler. Seriously. Ugh. No stump. <sighs> No stumbling from Experimental Frenzy this game. Yeah, this one's very over. Riz Factor. Yeah, our opponent's just drawn, like, four cards every single turn by running well with Experimental Frenzy. That's, uh, that's the power of Frenzy when it go. Good God. Whoa. All right. Well, our opponent's deck, it was almost like they were casting Vampire of Empiric Tutors and just stacking things on top of their deck the way they wanted them to be. Because that was, that was, uh, that was pretty, pretty good. All right. How do we change this up? I think we, hmm, 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 hmm. Cannonade is of some interest. Electro, we have cards that are just great in this matchup. But if your opponent's playing four or five cards a turn, doesn't really matter. I mean, plus we've already crossed this matchup twice, so I guess we're about due to to lose. Um, since we saw Rekindling Phoenixes, I almost think we need Lava Coil. Otherwise, I would take them out. Can we cut Pyromancer? It dies to a lot. Man, it sounds weird, but let's cut Pyromancer go up the lava coils and go up two cannonades Ugh, i don't know not 100 percent confident with that sideboarding plan but we're getting rid of stuff that dies to chain whirler all right let's see what our hand looks like Ugh, infinite lands all right all right all right we'll give it a go opponent going to six gotta find that frenzy to the bottom, we'll play a land, Fanatical Firebrand. We're gonna need to draw our Punisher cards. That is going to be what we need. Risk Factor, Sword, I can't believe I'm saying that, but that really is what we need. Opponent, Lava Runner. Well, that's Sword Point Diplomacy. So play a land, hmm, yeah, Shock Lava Runner. Go attacking. Pass the turn. Risk Factor is the better of the two, but Diplomacy fine. Opponent passes. Well. Shock Lava Runner. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Play the land. <laughs> Alright. Shocks are Firebrand. Come on, Riz Factor. Firebrand. Well, Sword Point Diplomacy. Well, those are hits. Three action cards. Opponent's thinking. We can't actually pull them up. Wow. Full damage. Okay. Play them out and play Firebrand. That was nine damage for... Nine damage for three mana. Opponent down to seven. Oh, come on, Risk Factor. This is where Risk Factor is insane. Shocks are Firebrand. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Lightning strike. All right. Pass the turn. Opponent's at a virtual four. Oh, Risk Factor is so good. Pyromancer down to 18. Come on, Risk Factor. Or Sword Plane Diplomacy at this point is just draw everything. Swamp. Play the Swamp. 
Pass the turn. Opponent. Gonna get in. Hit us. Yup. Pass. There it is. There it is. Risk factor. That's what we were looking for. That should clean it up. Opponent. Gotta let us draw. Um. Play electrostatic field. Play them out and pass the turn. Electrostatic field's so good in this matchup. Opponent. Lightning strikes our face. Yup. Ooh. They actually have an answer. Lava coil. Alright, down to 13. Well, risk factor. <laughs> Opponent lets us draw. Play a mountain. Play sovereign bite. Up to four. Pass the turn. And now we just have, we have the lethal burn. Opponent's just too far behind on mana. Opponent scoops it up. All right, this is for the 5-0. This is for the straight 5-0 sweep with Punisher Bird. This is it. This is it. I'm fine with our sideboard plan. Yeah? All right, run it back. Run it back. Let's see if we do it. Oh, man. Uh, I don't think we can keep one swamp. We like Sovereign Bite. Too big of a risk. We are on the draw. Yeah, we got to ship it. Oh no. Oh no. The magic gods have betrayed us. Uh, shock, I guess, to the bottom. All right. If we can win this with five cards, we deserve the win. Play the mountain, pass the turn. Opponent. Mountain. Pie Romancer. Yep. Down to 18. I'll play the swamp. Play electrostatic field. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Whirly boy. Yup, chain whirler. Opponent passes. Well, play the mountain. <sighs> yeah, let's sword point diplomacy. Ping our opponent. Sovereign's bite, lightning strike, mountain. They gotta get rid of Sovereign's bite. Alright, gives us the mountain. Take six. Alright. That's fine. Opponent. Land. Gets in. Well. Um. Let's block Pyromancer. Yeah, block Pyromancer. This way we don't lose Electrostatic Field to Chain Whirler. Alright, there's a Frenzy. Okay. Well, play the Mountain. Risk Factor. Opponent. Twelve. Takes it to eight. Oh, we're cl we're actually close to winning this. Let's have a frizzy frizzy fizzle frenzy. Opponent attacks. Well, we're gonna block chain whirler. Down to nine passes. How do we close it out? Let's risk factor. Opponent to seven. We draw, play the mountain, lava coil chain whirler, opponent to six, and odds are pretty good of winning next turn if we're alive. Opponent draws, steamkin, lightning strike, yup, down to six, opponent passes. One, two, three. How do we win? How do we win? Wizard's Lightning is... Is four. But that's not lethal. Oh, we don't want to get burnt out. Well, let's... Man, do we Steam Ken and just go for the... Ugh. All right, let's... Oh, man. All right, let's risk factor. Discard a mountain. Opponent to five. We draw. Play the mountain. Play lava runner. 
Oh man, I think we might have played that wrong. Kill the Steamkin. Pass the turn. All right, no running burn spells. No running burn spells. We should have tapped the black man, I guess. I was hoping for a Sovereign's Bite. Hmm. Actually, I think... Oh, my God. If they have running burn spells... Wizard's Lightning. Lava Coil. Opponent passes. Oh, we got there. We got there. Wizard's Lightning. Your face. Wizard's Lightning, your face. And the 5-0 is complete! <laughs> oh, sword point diplomacy is risk factor swing swinging right through that league 5-0 with punisher burn oh my goodness but uh ooh, rare is our reward too i mean you can't do any better than that good god maverin fiend a bunch of gold blood operative and beast whisper all right uh well Sweet! Uh, I guess it's a legit thing. We'll take it. So what did we learn this week about Punisher Bird in Standard? And the deck worked. We played a competitive constructed event on Magic Arena, and we literally went 5-0. and We just cruised through it. Of course, the matchup's a little weird. We played Mono Red Aggro three times, which feels like an insanely good matchup for this deck. The combination of Electrostatic Field and Main Deck Sovereign's Bite means that we just absolutely destroy other Mono Red decks. And then we played two Teferi Control decks, one Jeskai, one Blue White, and we were able to beat them too. The Punisher cards, especially Risk Factor, but instant speed burn spells were so, so good in those matchups. So while we didn't get a huge diversity of matchups, the deck definitely proved itself against two of the big archetypes in standard, Mono Red and Teferi based control decks. And uh, we just kind of cruised through our entire league. So I was really impressed with the deck. It looks super janky on paper. Swordplay Diplomacy, not a card that I was really expecting to be playable. Sovereign's Bite, completely overlooked, but they actually add a ton to a deck based around burning. And a Electrostatic Field was the surprise all-star for me. I was not expecting Electrostatic Field to be so good. Actually, the kind of little history behind this deck. Someone 5 owed with a similar deck, but they weren't playing Electrostatic Field. They were also playing 22 lands, so I tried that build, and I found that with 22 lands, Swordplay Diplomacy was a lot worse because Swordplay Diplomacy has such a weird play pattern. What mostly happens with Swordplay Diplomacy is opponents will give you any lands that you hit with it, but they will consider and sometimes take damage from the non-lands depending on the situation and what it is so to power up sword point diplomacy you want to have it be hitting like two non-lands and one lands or even three non-lands in a lot of scenarios so cutting back on the lands really helped and we still didn't really have too much trouble hitting our lands because we get free lands off sword point diplomacy and also off risk fracture to some extent so even though we're really low on lands we still could make that work and really we only need like three lands to function very well so i was super impressed with the deck I think it's actually pretty powerful and uh, fairly competitive despite how janky it looks. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly option on Arena, in paper, on Magic Online, I think Punisher Bird is a pretty fun and surprisingly competitive option. If you're trying to make the deck even cheaper on Magic Arena, you can cut the Dragon Skull Summits. I don't think you can cut Sword Point Diplomacy or Risk Factor. Those are literally the reason to play the deck. So you need those eight rares. You could definitely get rid of Angrath in the sideboard. You can also get rid of Ritual of Soot. They don't seem incredibly important. Like, they're fine, but they're not 100% necessary. So you can change up the sideboard. I think the control matchup would get worse without Banefire and Angrath, but you can maybe find something else, I don't know, uh, to replace that, maybe some more card draw or something along those lines. So you can make the deck with very minimal wild cards, and if you want to play it in best of one where you don't have a sideboard, it's even easier. Like, you can cut the Dragon Skull Summits, make the mana a little bit clunkier, play eight rares with Risk Factor and Sword Point Diplomacy, and you're good to go, and best of one tends to favor these aggro decks anyway. Like, Mono Red is the big deck in best of one, and this deck crushes Mono Red. We beat it three times thanks to Sovereign Bite and Electrostatic Field, so that might be the perfect home for this deck. Maybe this is the deck that you play to still be aggressive in best of one matches on Magic Arena, but beat the other aggressive decks thanks to just those small twists, Electrostatic Fields, the Sovereign Bites, so being like the Mono Red Assassin in best of one. So, I think that's a good option. 
If you want to grind best of one, I actually think this beats the mono red decks, so keep it in mind is a pretty sweet option for Magic Arena. Anyway, the deck was a blast. We finally made Risk Factor good. Sword Point Diplomacy also surprisingly good. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. The deck was awesome. It was a lot of fun. It was surprisingly effective. So anyway, that's been our Goldfish Gladiator for this week. Punisher Burn for Standard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.